Because if we're playing Warzone, ain't nobody out here playing it because they have a blast. This game's stressful as fuck. Let's just be honest. Yo, what is going on, guys? Savage here. Today, we're going to be going over six tips to improve your teamwork in Warzone. Now, teamwork is fundamental as far as Warzone's concerned, with, of course, the exception of solo players. Now, there are so many ways we can improve teamwork, and I don't have enough time in this one video to explain everything. So we're just going to go over the top six that I can think of off the top of my head. Now, guys, all of this gameplay will be from my Twitch stream. So if you guys haven't followed me on Twitch, make sure you do so. Also, if this video helps you in any way, shape or form, please leave a like on the video. Let's surpass 200 likes this time. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, so let's just let's just be front with each other. There are some of you guys who are going to look at this video and be like, oh, this is simple shit. I already knew that. But most players, most Warzone players, if I had to guess, I'd say 60 percent really don't think about this on a day-to-day -day basis but guys if you are aware of a lot of these things and as you listen to the video you have that one teammate that's popped up in your head and you're like "Fuck, that's that dude yo tag him in the video call this man out guys if, if you know anybody who fits any of these categories as a bad teammate tag their asses in the comment section below boys let's get them on blast but guys enough of that without further ado let's dive into this all right so my number one pet peeve when playing warzone and this goes for whether you're on pc ps4 xbox it doesn't matter this is an easy tactic i've played on both console and pc i know it's just a flick of the button but my number one pet peeve is teammates who don't mark targets they spot now i know the marking system can be a little messed up at times i know you're trying to mark a target and all of a sudden there's like a, a stash in front of you and actually marks the stash or the vehicle or the loot that's in front of you and that's fine but as far as just blatantly ignoring attempting to mark a target that's absolutely uncalled for as far as great teamwork's concerned comms are awesome but a lot of times with explosions going on and warthogs and things like that and you know teammates being tunnel visioned the simplest act of just marking a target can break all attention away from whatever everyone's doing and focus it on the guy you're trying to shoot now let's be honest guys half of you don't mark targets because why because you want the kill so all the research that i've done apparently the average call of duty warzone kd kill death ratio is between somewhere of a 0.5 and a one. So before everyone gets all high and mighty in the comment section and starts talking about, well, if I'm trying to be like TP and drop 20 kills, just blow all that out the water. You guys wouldn't be looking up tip videos. You're trying to drop 20, 30 bombs, at least not yet. As far as being a better player, guys, do not worry about getting all the kills. Your main focus, and I believe honestly, as a battle royale player who's played many, many battle royales, the number one goal is to get the win. Kills are awesome. Trust me, I get super hyped when I have a high kill game. I get super hyped when my teammates have a high kill game. And those are more exciting and those are more enjoyable to play for sure. I do agree with you. However, the win is your first priority. It's not cool if you drop 40 kills and get third place. So guys, don't be selfish. If you see a target, make sure you look at them, you mark them, and then you shoot at them. Or as you're shooting at them, if you forget, oh shit, I need to mark them, mark them up. Let your teammates know they need to break away from whatever they're doing and help you focus on that target. And as I said before with marking targets, guys, there's a lot of things going on in Warzone. There's a lot. Tunnel vision is huge with different players, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But there's a lot of sounds, a lot of noises, a lot of people running around the map. So your teammates will not always be focused on what you're looking at. You have to remember that as a player. So every time you see somebody, mark them. That way, if your teammates can't hear you trying to call out, they can at least see the ping and go with it. And the biggest secret the biggest secret and this goes back into PUBG. when i played PUBG, this is a huge problem this is actually why they removed the marking system in one of the original updates in PUBG. is it's a slick side wall hack if you've ever noticed if you mark a player for about five to seven seconds that player has a little red marker above his head that's live meaning if he's running behind a house and you can see that he's about to come out the other side you can be ready with your crosshair right there and pre-fire that way as soon as a little red diamond crosses he's dead live pings are crucial if you look at all your top warzone players every one of them lives and breathes by the ping now the second one is calling out while shooting now sometimes you can't ping sometimes you're running in a building your team is a little bit behind you and all of a sudden there's four guys with barrels in your face and you're just you just lose all shit you start spraying and stuff and at that point you just shout out instead of marking because that actually makes sense a lot of times when i'm playing with players they will dive into a 1v4 and they won't say a word they won't say a word until they're dead. And what do they say? Hey guys, I'm down. There's four on me. And where are you at? Nowhere fucking near him. Guys, if you want to be an effective team, you have to call out what you're doing, whether you're shooting a target, whether you're going to leave the team to go buy something, whether you spot a target over here and you're going to attempt to go shit on them. That way, even if you want to get all the kills by yourself, even if you want to dive into a 1v4 just to practice, just to test your skills, your team knows that. And at least there's someone around you. So if you go down or you die, they can avenge your death or kill the squad and revive you. P 
people for some reason just want to do it all themselves if you want to do it yourself go play solos and there's nothing wrong with solo players at all but guys if you want to be a better teammate you want to have better teammates you've got to get this message across to yourself and to them mark everything you see and call out everything you want to do all right guys the third thing to be a better teammate and i know guys i'm super emotional about this because when it comes to teamwork i'm a high believer in teamwork when it comes to quads and trios and duos and other battle rounds of course but the third thing to improve teamwork is have a game plan after every fight now this actually includes you solo players out there guys too many times you get tunneled on a fight you win the fight and then you're just sitting there and all you're worried about is loot 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 i have been in so many situations where we've gotten out of a fight and another team's pushed us and we've gotten out of a fight and another team's pushed us and we got out that fight and another team's pushed us and then we end up dead and it's not because it was just team after team after team after team it was always because it was team then we're sitting there looting we're like we're okay let's buy this exchange my money here's some ammo let's do this what about this what's our next play and then another team comes and tries to destroy us and then it's just a never-ending wheel to be honest and you're just there 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 until you die have you ever heard of the term overstaying your welcome this goes into video games this goes into any strategy ever guys it's awesome you have suppressors it's awesome you have ghosts on it's awesome this awesome that but even with suppressors guys you can hear suppressors enemies can hear suppressors they can hear explosions from your c4 they can hear doors being kicked open they can hear the team that might not have suppressors shooting back at you so now whoever is in a vicinity of you is gonna come for you so guys you've got to be aware get the kills get the loot get the fuck out and come up with another game plan figure out what you're gonna do all right guys number four get ready to hurt your friends feelings boys get ready to hurt your friends feelings this is something that was taught to me by the guys that i play with and i kind of i mean it's 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 really looks like kind of a genius play um some of you guys again probably already know this some of you guys don't so this is for you guys that don't but guys this is a battle royale this is a game of skill this is a game where you need to have your top players on tip top shape so if somebody dies and then someone else dies and now you're down two people or you're down three people the only people you should be buying back are the people with the highest kills that game or the highest damage now i'm a true believer in damage if someone's damage is doubled but they have less kills i'm gonna buy back the dude who's done more damage because he's a better shot the other guy just got lucky and stole, stole a few kills and the reason why i say whoever has got the highest kills and damage that match is because even the best players have shitty matches even the worst players have good matches guys if you're on fire you're on fire if your teammate is on fire and he's doing better buy him back i don't care if he's got a 0.5 kd and the guy that you want to buy back's got a 5 kd if he's dropping donuts and your 0.5's got 10 kills guess what yeah that's it buy the 0.5 dude back man Warzone is a game of momentum and if someone's got momentum you continue that shit. all right guys number five is pick a leader and follow commands if you guys watch any Warzone streamers or content creators of any sort, you will know that they have a certain clique of people they play with. This isn't because this isn't because they hate everybody else. This is because this is the team they're playing with and they know how they operate. They know how to read their plays. They know exactly what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. You want to have a team that can build together, play together and be really well together. And with that comes picking a leader. Whoever has the best strategy, the best smarts, the best awareness, the most responsible, the calmest one, the most decisive player, that's your leader. If he says something, go with it. Again, guys, if you want to be really good at BRs, you got to get the ego out of the way. You got to say, okay, this is your strong suit. This is your strong suit. This is your weakness. And this is your weakness. If you're on squads and you need a sniper, are all of you guys going to get a sniper? Hell no. You're going to get one or two teammates to get your sniper. And you're not going to let Betty Joe, who's got a 0.1 KD, he's never sniped in their life, be the sniper, are you? No always play your strengths guys if you have a guy who's good with close range weapons have him main close range weapons if you have a guy who's good at sniping have him main at sniping if you have a guy who's good at being a leader guys have him be the leader but guys this leads us to our last but certainly not least tip grow together as a team i am again a firm believer in teamwork and i'm pretty passionate about this video if you see my other videos you can tell i'm really into this one and this is something i've really been wanting to put out there and I've got a bunch of episodes on this because there's a bunch of things that irks the shit out of me that I do, that my teammates do, that we're all guilty of. Go together as a team, guys. You have to. After the game's done, sit there for a couple minutes. Sit there for a couple minutes and just vent, man. I don't care if y'all get into it or not. Say, okay, okay, Betty Bob, this is what you did wrong. Okay, Nancy, this is what you did right. All right, this is what we should do next time. In the situation where you just got squad wiped, instead of just screaming hacker, 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 start screaming how could he play that differently 
even hackers can be killed in this game. Well, most of them. Guys, when you die 90% of the time, it's your fault. And if you watch my live streams, you're staring right at this video and you're looking me square in my non-existent face and you're screaming at me. Savage, you're a hypocrite. Yes, I blame everybody too. We're all fucking guilty of it. It's not my fault. Lag, desync, server shit, lag, hacks, lag. Look guys, at the end of the day, we're all wanting to be better BR players. We're all wanting to be better at this game. That's why we're putting the time and effort and going through the bullshit of the server lag and the hackers because we want to be a better player. We want to increase our KD. We want to increase our win-loss ratio. We want to get on those leaderboards. We want to be a good streamer. We want to be a good content creator. You know, things like that. We all have aspirations. Guys, look, I threw a lot of information at you guys fast. I was pretty heated during this entire thing. Not in a bad way. Just very energetic about it because it's an important topic to me. You have to look at the totality of a battle royale. You have to look at the whole picture. It's not just about you. It's not just about your KD. It's a team game. It requires teamwork. It requires sacrifice. It requires skill. But guys, first and foremost, teamwork is key. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's not just a saying people made up just because it rhymed. It's the truth. But guys, I really hope this video helped you in some form or fashion. Hopefully it brought light upon the situation of what really should be most important. Wins over kills. This is a battle royale. You just want kills? Go to multiplayer. There's a lot of kills. But guys, good luck, man. Hopefully you guys improve. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully this video has helped you guys. If it has, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next video, boys. Peace. Yo, guys, what's going on? I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you follow us on Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you guys want some more content, man, check out one of these videos. I'm sure they're dope as fuck. Not sure what they are. YouTube. YouTube, what's that one? And what is that one? I don't know. Click it and find out. But guys, follow us on Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next video, boys. Peace.